Hello, welcome to Map to Love with Catherine Nicole. This is going to be your twin flame, soulmate, divine partner, whatever you want to label your special person, check in. And intuitively, what I'm getting a lot from the collective right now, and I, Spirit had me place the rose quartz on the masculine side, whoever the, is predominantly masculine in this connection, and the amethyst on the feminine side. Because I feel like right now in the collective, the feminine is doing her best to hold her vision, know her truth, trust her intuition, the black candle being letting go of any negative energies, protecting herself from anything that's not highest and best, and really holding her vision, knowing what's meant for her and trusting her intuition no matter what's going on in the world and no matter what anyone else tells her. The masculine energy in this connection is working to purify themselves, to detoxify their heart space, their head space, their physical body. And they're really truly focusing on the unconditional love, focusing on loving themselves, filling their own cup, um, you know, focusing on their emotions, right? So whatever you're sending feminine, that love, that beautiful unconditional love and light, they feel it and then they're sending it back. So trust your intuition on that. So it's really important right now. That was a, a beginning message. So take what resonates with you as always. We're going to get a check-in on this soul contract that you have. If you haven't checked out the all signs, you and them that I recently posted, I definitely would. And also um, on Friday the 19th in the evening, I posted the tantric twins. If you haven't listened to that, that was interesting. <laughs> I will do my best to remember to link those below, or at the end of the video. Okay, first we're going to start with what is the main energy supporting this soul contract? What's the main energies that's supporting this contract with you and your person? We the Hathors, deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal. So to me, this is your star family your ancestors coming forward and saying, we are supporting this union. We are supporting this portal that's open for you right now to birth into this new life. We are supporting you with deep love and nurturing from Mother Earth. Ground yourself in the Mother's vital energy. Let that milk fill you, that vital energy fill you. Nourish yourself. Find that deep love within yourself and express it out to the world because there's new beginnings. That's what I'm feeling. There's a portal being open, birthing into this new life. Perhaps somebody is giving birth. Congratulations. That, that's a whole new world, right? Mother's milk being key. Giving, you know, proper nutrition in your physical body. Loosen your grip. Coping mechanisms, density, addiction, letting God in. So what I feel, how you're being supported, you and your lover are being supported, is you're letting go, letting go of control, letting go of manipulation, letting go of addictions, codependencies, numbing yourselves, right? And letting God in. That's what's happening is God is the universe, the higher self is coming in. As you loosen your grip and let go and allow, that's when this new portal is open and you just, you know, float right to your destiny. So it's time to loosen your grip, loosen your grip, um, loosen the need to know all of the details, right? It's because shooting your arrow of intention is important, right? But it's also important to let go and let the universe work it out. Look at that. You got the love. Hatterian energy, codependency and boundaries. Wow, it's coming up again. So there's some kind of codependency, some kind of boundaries that need to be set. Either you already set them or they did or, or either one of you needs to in your life, but you got the answer and the answer is love. That's what's going to help you release these codependencies, these addictions. Set your healthy boundaries, okay? Your ancestors are with you. Your loved ones are with you. You've got the love within you that's going to change everything, okay? 
We're going to get one more. But yeah, that's what you're letting go and letting love in. That's what's coming into this connection. But there's some kind of boundaries and, wow, well, okay, we're going to take them. But the bottom says you're not alone because, of course, you're never alone. But we're going to, um, I really feel a lot of star family help, a lot of ancestor help, helping you through, loosening your grip, letting go, focusing on the love. All paths lead home. Inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. Yeah, exactly what I felt over here. So we're going to actually put this here for the feminine. All paths lead home. There's always different ways you can go. But you're always going to be led home when you follow your heart. So go within. You have authority and control over your emotions, okay? Let's see if we can get the face to show. You have authority and control, okay? This is you seeing through the illusions, knowing that every path, the path love is the answer to lead you home. Trust your intuition. We're going to see what's one for the masculine. Okay. for So the blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. This is what I feel like is the masculine. This is what's being lit. The blue flame. The eternal flame. Awakening. Things being activated. Integrating all that they know. Like that. that's what's happening with the masculine as they purify. You see? You see this flame comes up the blue flame the flame within again i feel archangel michael who came through in the divine masculine divine feminine reading pretty strong that we posted yesterday but now it's this masculine it's like the blue flame the flame is being lit within there's a grand awakening here that's beautiful and for the connection water your garden nourishment body care tenderness rest yeah that's what i feel like mother's milk Birth is a portal. Take care of your body as, as you would if you were carrying a child. Care for yourself as you would an innocent child. That's what I'm feeling. Water your garden. Nurture yourself. Connect to your emotions. And you're not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true north. Yeah, this is you getting ready to take the leap of faith. You're not going to be for everyone, but you are for your sacred lover. And you are made for one another. You're perfect for one another. Yin and yang. Face your truth. Embrace your weirdness. Embrace your uniqueness. Embrace this connection. That's what I feel is happening. You're loosening your grip and just letting go. Letting go. Letting yourself feel into this. Feel it. Don't just think about it. Don't just look at it. Feel it. Feel your emotions. Feel this connection. It is all about love and then water you know, being cleansed and refreshed, connecting to your emotions, things that were once frozen are being thawed out now. It's all about loosening your grip and letting go. Ready to take that leap of faith. And it says, all paths lead home. Face your true north. You are the north star home. Activation, following the north star home. I... We're going to get supporting energies for this contract. So right now, it's time to let go. Let go of what's not serving you. Focus on the love. Nurture yourself. You're not for everyone. So if relationships or things haven't worked out in the past, that was for a reason, okay? The flame is being lit. You're, you're being called to your destiny. Follow the lead. Follow your heart. Okay, supporting energies of this connection. Yeah, this is that. Loosening the grip, like letting go of the addictions, the codependencies, being up front, taking off the mask, being authentic with others. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. It could have been you. The angels are speaking in your ear or speaking in your lover's ear to be honest and authentic with everyone around them. I don't want this drama anymore. I don't want to live like this anymore. I'm going to change things. I'm going to do what's right for me. And it's like the, the, these people are like, whoa, oh, oh, okay, well, all right. And I know I'm not for everyone. I know I'm unique. I know I'm different. And this, this, uh, you know, this deceptive energy within me needs to be healed. And look at this past life relationship. You've known each other before. Yeah, it, that's what's supporting this contract is that you know one another. You feel comfortable. It feels like home. Don't deceive yourself. Trust this. 
Be playful with your approach. Have fun. Flirt with life. Flirting is so much fun and it should never stop. I'm just going to say that. Whenever it comes up, it should never stop. Flirt with life. Flirt with people. Look into people's eyes because that's the truth. Your eyes are the window to your soul. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Yeah, that's birthing into this new cycle, having fun again, being playful. And look at that. Past life relationship and then reconciliation comes in. Yeah, there's a reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay, whoever this is, it's important to be honest and authentic. And what I feel like is if this person is from your literal past of this life, and they may have been deceptive or there may have been some bothersome energy between addictions, codependencies, whatever it was. I feel like that is done. They're, be, they're purified. It, they're different. It's different. It's more aligned, you see. But you have to be discerning, obviously. It's your life. Nobody can tell you who to be with or what to do. But within this connection, I feel that there's healing in this. There's going to be honest, honest communication, authentic communication. And look. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So as you move forward on your spiritual path, as you go within and trust your intuition and you, you move forward on your path, you're moving towards your destiny. Follow those curiosities. Follow where spirit is taking you. And if you have different points of views and religion or spirituality got in the way before, it's not going to anymore because you see the higher mind point of view. You value everyone's point of view. You're going to value one another's point of view and you're going to merge and integrate what you both know into this union. You see that? And you're not for everyone. Your belief systems are not like everyone's. So be true to you. When you're true to you, you will invite a partner who will be true to you as well. And the bottom says honeymoon. Yeah, going moving on, calmer waters, going on a vacation, holiday time, some kind, something's coming. Uh, something's coming up for this reconciliation. Oh, I like it. Okay. Let's get in just a little bit here to the feminine's energy. How, how is the feminine viewing their, the masculine? How is the feminine in this connection, this contract viewing the masculine? I've been thinking about you. I've been thinking about this a lot. I may, you know, be overthinking a little bit. So I really would like to look up and, and see you, have a talk with you. I want new beginnings, the 47, right? 11. I want these new beginnings. I'm ready for this rebirth. So the feminine's been thinking a lot about the masculine. Yeah, I want this romance. I want this higher level romance. 33 being a master number. To me, that's mastering emotions. 3 plus 3 is 6. That's past. Past life. Someone from the past. And the feminine's like, I want to open this door again. I want to unlock my heart. I'm ready. I've been in my head a lot. I've been, you know, focusing on myself. I've been going within and now I'm ready to open my heart to this connection. Yeah, it's been broken for too long. I'm healing. You see how the cracks are being healed? I'm shedding my last tear. I don't I don't want to be in this energy anymore. I don't want to hurt from this anymore. I've been thinking about the past and I'm ready to heal. I'm ready to open up. I'm ready to end this broken heart. But there's been some, you know, maybe some deception. There's been some hurt. The feminine has been hurt. But I'm finding balance. The feminine, when the feminine thinks of the masculine, she's finding balance with all that's happened and ready to open her heart again feeling very balanced with her head and her heart overcoming this pain healing wanting to heal this connection <clears throat> is what I feel so that's how the feminine's viewing the masculine is the masculine is finding their balance healing and opening up to this love. So that's what the feminine feels. That the masculine is like ready. So the feminine's ready. Okay. And how does the feminine feel in her heart space? That's how she's viewing the masculine. 
viewing the masculine as a thinker, as a masculine has had his heart locked in a cage, um, but, but views the masculine as finally allowing himself to heal and find balance, okay? How does the, ma the feminine feel about the masculine? I want to talk. I want to communicate. I want to speak my truth. Okay. I'm ready for authentic, open communication. So Archangel Gabriel helping the feminine be open to this. See, I'm open to this communication. I trust my intuition fully. I know what this is. I know who you are. I see through all the illusions. I see you masculine. I really see you. I trust. I have faith in you. Things are being revealed to me. This is my truth. You are my clarity. This is how I feel about you. We have an incredible spiritual connection. We've done this before. This is destined. And I know it. So interesting. Look at all these chakra cards that are coming out for the feminine, for how the feminine feels. I feel this connection. I want to tell you everything that I've learned by going within and trusting my intuition and working on myself and loosening my grip and letting go. I know the truth now. And I want to share the truth with you. I want to share this with you. I want to share my wisdom. I want to share all these cool things that are happening. And Metatron, Uriel, and Gabriel working with the feminine and the angel of balance. There's a lot of angelic guidance. Yeah. I want these new beginnings. I want to travel the world with you. I feel like there's a world of possibilities of us to be able to be together. So completion and new beginnings. There's the 11 again. So 11, 11, divine sacred union. I know what this is, masculine. You mean the world to me. I want to tell you that. I want to tell you how important you are to me. How much that I feel you in every aspect of my life. And I'm ready. I'm ready for this communication. I'm ready for these new beginnings. I'm ready. I've thought about it long enough. What about for the masculine? How does the masculine, how does the masculine first view the feminine when the masculine is thinking about the feminine? How does the masculine view the feminine? The masculine is recognizing the feminine. Saying, I see you too. And I appreciate that you see me, that you see me for who I really am, the truth of me. The masculine is recognizing how rewarding the connection with his sacred feminine really is. How does the masculine view the feminine as the empress? Creative, beautiful, gorgeous, sexy, divine, passionate, sensual, expansive, gorgeous. You feminine, you really stir the masculine senses. You stir up things within them that the masculine has never experienced before. That's all that's it. I'm telling you, there's so much sexual energy. That's it. That's It's like, yes, I feel it. Look at I'm clear. Michael coming through again in this reading saying, yes, I'm clear now. I'm rising up out of the ashes. I want success with this. I am recognizing that speaking my truth to my feminine and a new way of communicating is important and it will be successful. So the masculine views the feminine as very truthful, very honest, very authentic, helping them see through the illusions, 
finding success. wants to be truthful, wants to be authentic, is really working on that, is being rewarded, you know, by spirit for that. New creative ideas, just, it just the connection itself really stimulates the masculine in beautiful ways. And look at that. I mean, come on. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups came out for the masculine energy in the um, reading I posted yesterday. If you haven't listened, please do. There's new beginnings coming, you guys. There's new beginnings. Heart healing. Heart awakening. See, that heart is healing. That's what the masculine says. You help me, feminine, heal my heart. You are so loving and you're so good on your own and you're so good at nourishing yourself and filling your own cup. I, I, I don't know how you got so good at that, but you're teaching me. I'm healing. I'm opening my heart because you're opening yours. I'm opening mine. Your love heals me. I want to come together and share this love. So the masculine views the feminine as a beautiful new beginning in love and, and someone that the masculine can be truly authentic with. I, I really true I feel that this is the first time in the masculine's life that they actually want to be authentic. They see value in that. How does the masculine feel about the feminine? Look at that. Look at this. Recognizing how rewarding, triumphant success. You are a success, sees you as a success feminine. But victory and success? I see you as victory. I see this, I feel this love as victory. I want to shout it at the rooftops. I'm ready to take this leap of faith. Look, you can't, I mean, look, you guys, look. Ready, the feminine, open, receptive. I am so ready to take this leap. The, the masculine saying, dun, 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 I'm finally ready. Do you hear the call? Oh my God. Wow. And look at what comes out right after. I mean, how does the masculine feel? I am in love with my empress. I am so far gone that I've never felt this way before. It is so rewarding to allow myself to set, to be free with love in my emotions. You make me feel so good about myself. I mean, literally, the divine feminine in this connection is helping the masculine open their heart space to love. Literally by being you. Remember I felt the empress energy up here with the sacral chakra and here it comes. It's a fertile time. It's a great time to make babies. It's a great time to push creative projects forward. The masculine is feeling extremely creative, finding success in the material world, finding success in their, their uh, balancing of their energies and their spiritual growth and their heart is healing and, and open. Like I am open to my sacred feminine. I'm open to this love. That's what I want to tell you. That's the communication. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm open to this love. I, I want this love. I, I want it. I want to tell everybody about it. <laughs> yeah, I know that I've been in conflict. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I've made the decision. I'm coming out of the stalemate. I'm no longer holding back anymore. I can't. So the masculine has been in some conflict, has been in like a little stalemate, right? But what I feel from this is divine feminine by shining your light and sending that love as I felt from the beginning. They feel the love and it's helping them overcome the mental conflict. Archangel Michael, spirit working with them. When they think about you, they think about they're getting clear. This is what's helping them. Focusing on the love, opening their heart. This is the communication. I want to tell you that I've, I'm done with this crap. I want to create life with you. I want to be with you, my sacred feminine. And the feminine's like, yeah, I trust. I know. And look at the bottom. You get the world here and here's the universe. Yeah, there's completion and new beginnings. The universe is helping this connection. The universe is helping work it all out. And right under that, come on, the fool, new beginnings. I mean, The Fool also came up in the reading I posted yesterday. So to me, that means that it is really time to walk this new path, this new world, new beginnings. That's what's, that's what's transpiring um, within this connection, within this soul contract. 
So next we're going to move into um, any, is there any blocks or fears? We're going to do that first before I was about ready to move on, but the spirit reminded me. Is there anything at all that could be holding the feminine back from this connection, from this new, from these new beginnings? Is there anything at all, spirit? What, what would you have the feminine look at? Wow. Is there anything holding the feminine back? It, it, fear, fear itself. Illusions. That would be the only thing holding you back. Finally getting the illumination. Things are being illuminated. Learning the lessons. Whatever lessons, whatever fear, whatever insecurities, doubts, whatever that is, let it go. Let it be transformed in the light. Trust your intuition, feminine. Trust your intuition right now. Okay? Go within. Know your truth. Because look, this is what's coming when you do that. That's the only thing that would be holding you back is illusions of any kind, fear of any kind, which is a false reality. So the key is transform them in the light. And look, you, get, you can't make this up. You get the sun and the moon together, the masculine and feminine together. The masculine, beautiful sun, the love and light from the masculine is helping soothe and refresh and bring the feminine back to life. And there's a little baby. It's a fertile time, right? It's a fertile time for projects. It's time to get going. That's that mother's milk, nurturing yourself, filling your cup. This is that ace of cups. The sun is shining in on your life, feminines. The sun is shining in on this connection for new beginnings. Trust it. Fear is an illusion. Love is the answer and the truth. Trust yourself, okay? And look at the bottom, the bottom of the deck. Happy family life. Yep, there's stability coming in. Happy family life, joining families. 11-11 um, twin flame soulmate union. Four of wands, stability, healing. See, look at all this happiness that's coming in. And the, the key is, is just letting go of the fears, you know, letting go. What about for the masculine? Is there anything for the masculine in this connection? Masculines, you listening? Anything that needs to be let go of and transformed? What, any blocks, anything. Okay, so we get the tower. So let masculine, let whatever needs to be cleared away be cleared away, okay? It's time. It's time to break free. See, the masculine's ready to bust out of there. And you see all this beautiful light on the other side. So transforming the shadows into the light. Patience and planning. Planning their next move. Getting ready. Activations, integration. See, pillar of strength. Pillar of strength, stability. Learning the lessons. See, seven, seven, learning the lessons. The masculine is working on trusting their intuition, tapping into the divine feminine within. For these new beginnings, really going within and trusting. And look at this, transformation. That's what's happening with the masculine. So allow yourself to transform masculine because when you do, you're manifesting communication, you're manifesting accelerated motion towards your dreams, and you're manifesting this beautiful, powerful con um, communication with your feminine. So this is a death and rebirth, okay? This is a rebirth. This is what's happening. Trust. Trust that things are moving forward. To the masculine, the only thing that would be getting in your way is fighting whatever needs to be cleared, fighting whatever needs to change, belief systems, codependencies, all that addiction energy relationships that aren't serving you. This is you in your self-imposed box. It's time to bust out of the box. And when you bust out, look at all that light that comes in, right? Trust your intuition. It's time to rebirth and get moving and take action. And at the bottom is the crown chakra. Yeah, again, 777. Seven, seven. It's a lucky time to move forward on this connection. It's a lucky time to learn your lessons and trust. So the universe is really working with the masculine to help overcome the fears of actually birthing into a very beautiful, happy life. Some people get so stuck in the negativity and so stuck in relationships that aren't serving them and they're putting them down and creating this, you know, uncomfortable, low self-esteem unworthiness. But the masculine is finally ready to bust free, speak their truth and transform and manifest their dreams. They're wishing upon a star, see?
What is being healed, manifesting, and activated within this union at this time? What's being healed, activated? What's manifesting for this sacred, divine, twin flame, soulmate, divine partner union? <laughs> Okay, we're just going to read this first, see? Challenges, blocks, fears, negativity, betrayal. That's all ending now. That's what's changing, see? The masculine is thawing out, busting out. What did I say? Whatever has been frozen in time is being thawed, and here it is, busting out. And look, the feminine's like, I'm helping you. So you're working in unison to overcome any blocks and fears and any negative vibrations on this connection. By focusing, six to me is, you know, peace, harmony, unconditional love. By focusing on that, you're setting one another free. And the way that you melt the ice and you get it going is, like I said, <laughs> telling you, the safe girl shocker comes out again. Creativity, intimacy, inhibition, losing all inhibitions, learning your lessons, growing, expanding, sacred, sexual union. It's a powerful force. Let this fire melt what has been frozen in time. Light that flame. The sacral portal is open. The door to romance is open. And look at that. Again, transformation. Again, the word again, transformation. Things are changing. Five, four plus one is five. Metamorphosis, synchronicity, the unexpected. Trust your guidance. Expect the unexpected once in a blue moon. It's happening. See the other two cards that came out? Yeah, it's, it's time to reflect. It's time to go within. It's time for the rebirth. Self-love, acceptance. Accept where you're at. Accept where your partner is at. They are a divine mirror to you. The ice clean, introspection, self-analysis, fortitude. So it is time to go within. And look at this, both of them are, add up to be a four. This is 22, a master number, but it adds up to be a four. That adds up to be a four. There is stability coming into your life in this connection when you go within and you look at yourself and you face the truth. Take off the mask. What do I want? And move forward. And this is speaking your truth. There is communication. To me, Ice Queen is Queen of Swords. Finding the balance of the head and the heart for this open, new magical, beautiful way of communicating. And there looks like there's a person or some kind behind here, like praying, like almost blessing, moving forward, blessing this twin. Cause I always see this like at the Gemini twins, like this twin flame union, this mirror reflection, this yin and yang. When you look deep into the eyes of your lover, you will see yourself. It's, that's your reflective truth. So again, what has been challenging? What has been frozen by you nourishing yourself? Self, it says self-analysis, self-love. By you nourishing yourself and letting go and being cleansed and refreshed, things are thawing out in this union, in this fire, this passion, this creative, expansive energy, this sensual, sexual energy is your driving force. And at the bottom, it's harmonic resolution. Negativity, anger is being transmutated into the light for these new beginnings. That's what's happening. That's the transformation. And you already get integration and spontaneous awakening over here. So that's what's happening. It's transmutation of all the negative energy, all the fears. Everything is being transformed into the light for this new beginning. And right under that is the promise, okay? Okay. So the promise has been made. The new beginnings are coming. The promise has been made. You are attracting the partner you wish. You are attracting this in. Trust this. Trust yourself, okay? The promise has been made. That's what spirit really wants to drive home. Okay, with the Beyond Lemuria deck, we're just going to get an ending message here for you who's ever listening to this. I appreciate you all. 
liking the videos, sharing them, subscribing. It does help the channel grow, and I truly appreciate that. Uh, and I and I am sending you all lots of love on this journey. Please reach out to me for a personal reading or healing as you feel guided. But there's resolution coming, harmony, happy family life, fast moving energy forward once the final release has been made. Have fun with it, you know. Have fun with it. Soul star chakra merging with the divine. Wow, that's beautiful. Merging with the divine. For this harmonic resolution, you merge with the divine. You focus on divine love. You focus on the unconditional love, and it changes everything. So we're just going to read a little bit from the book to end this reading. Transcendence, letting go, being filled with divine light, channeling. Your channeling gifts are being activated. Karmic records, the book of life, karma, ending karmic cycles for new beginnings. The bridge between the spiritual and the physical realms, ascension. See, spontaneous ascension. This, um, here, I'll, I'll hold it so you can maybe see it a little bit better as I read, just because they're just so beautiful and they're, the cards are so activating. This image captures the merging of time beyond space and kaleidoscope wisdom that penetrates our being. We have lived in many worlds, all interconnected. They uphold the lessons they carry as messages of transformation. Their synergy creates the expansion of the universe. Gaze into the place where the light between our stardust can become anything, and the collective evolution is part of a grander story. When we simply let go, we become all that we have been seeking and glimpse the greater dream. Remember that you are an infinite being with the ability to expand your awareness beyond space and time. Consider that paradigms outside this physical reality may be unfathomable until we raise our vibration and can think outside of the mind. Meditate on the idea that everything that has ever, that ever was and ever will be is happening simultaneously right now across multiple dimensions. Things are changing. Things are being healed. You're ascending. This union is ascending to higher vibrations, higher frequencies. It's gorgeous. I'm wishing you so many blessings. Reach out to me anytime.